take a look. It's already got some dark spots. But these checks are to be treated. Just because all these things are gonna progress. And it's gonna tear the beam apart. Take glued beam. You wouldn't regret it. We cheer the professionals who build it. Come to us for a good bit of sending. Hi everyone, we're starting the painting season. We have a glued beam house. We will film a complete review of the house and the difficulties that can come up. We will film the whole interior preparation process and we'll make a review on how to do it right. We will explain why it is so important to get the glued beam house painted from the exterior, despite it being a pretty dry material. We'll show you the treatment of the end faces. Let's get inside and I'll show you everything. Alright, so the house was assembled three or four months ago. And take a look, it's already got some dark spots. This has to be sanded away before painting. It's dry, but it's not protected. Sun and wet gets on it, so it has to be painted as soon as possible. Just because all these things are gonna progress. Alright guys, if you look at the house from the outside and you come to the sunny side, despite the house has been assembled at a winter time, we're already catching some sunlight and it's a worse thing for the wood. Some small checks are already starting to appear. Even though the end faces were perfectly prepared, the guys sealed it off. They did everything right. The house assembly quality is a top notch. The guys who did it have done a great job. I just forgot to ask a customer who was it. But these checks are to be treated. When the sun is gonna really hit it at May or at the summer time, this wall is gonna hit up to 60 degrees. The delamination is gonna start right here. And it's gonna tear the beam apart. This is to be taken care of. Let's get to the north side and you will see that the end faces are in a perfect condition there. If we look at the end faces from the north side, it is completely sealed and they are in a great condition. They won't have checks on it. The problem is the sun. The sun heats up the wood, it expands and checks appear. So you need to paint the house just as soon as possible. Just as it gets above zero, not waiting for plus 25, because the wall is gonna heat up to 50 or 60 degrees. The worst thing here is the sun. You have to get it painted quickly. You build it winter, you seal it off, you send it at the spring, then again take care of the end faces with a special oil. You paint it and it's all gonna be good. It's pretty easy to check if the end faces has been taken care of. These small unpainted spots are okay. It's all right and it's easy to see that the end faces are all cured. You see, the sealant has been used without a compromise. There's even some residue. But that means that it's done right. And it's easy for you to check when you get to the building site. Have they done the end faces? That's an important aspect. And now I'm gonna introduce you our customer. And he's gonna give us a clue on a glued beam choice. Despite the bad things they say about it, I personally like it. It's actually my favorite type of project. Here is Dmitri. Tell us, why is it a glued beam? Well, first, we wanted a wooden house, but we want it to be flat, without cylinder lock shape. We also want to avoid checks, so not many options left. We also looked at a profiled beam, but everyone doing a woodwork said no profile, take glued beam. You wouldn't regret it, it's very durable. I don't know why many people don't like it. We do. At least this house stood at a winter time. It wasn't that cold. 
frankly speaking, around 7 degrees, and without or with very low heating. It easily was 11 degrees inside, and it was basically opened up for all the winds. How do you call this thing? The contour. That's right, we can see it from here. That was enough for it to be warm. Also, aesthetically, it looks very nice. It's very good looking, also when you get inside, especially the parts that already has been sanded. It's very beautiful and nice to touch, like a baby. So guys, we cheer the professionals who build it. We have a warm foundation and a warm house, and that feels very nice to work on it. And also, the guys who built this house, they did a great job of assembly. I decided that it's necessary to give a credit, free of charge, to the guys who do the right things. It's a Lescom company. Good job! Lescom guys, you nailed it! When we will be preparing the exterior walls, it's not only this flat surface that we're gonna sand, but also these grooves. You should know that these grooves are the most vulnerable. They will gather particles and dust. Sun rays can get in here and water as well. So it's absolutely necessary to get the both planes of the groove sanded. All this should be taken care of. Because this flat part of the wall is really easy to do. And it's gonna be good but every groove should be sanded and painted. Now we're gonna show you how to prepare the interior walls. Never forget the safety gear. Nowadays a coronavirus flies and jumps everywhere. And it seems like sanders are the most protected people on the planet. They are protected from the dust and the coronavirus at the same time. Come to us for a good bit of sanding. You should understand that whatever type of wooden house you have, it needs sanding. The walls should be prepared. The wood gets compressed under the cutter of the machine. Any type of wood. And for the product to stick to it, it has to be sanded. And here is one another thing to note. It stood for a half of a year and got yellowish. We left that spot on purpose, for you to see how yellow it gets. If you paint it, the color will mix in. So anyway, these yellow spots are to be sanded off. And only then we can paint it and get the exact color a customer wants. Guys, we use a grid size of 120. From all the discs we've used, 3M is definitely the best. We'll show you how it works. Note that you have to sand it completely with no spots left at all. Get that yellow spots removed. You will see I do it a bad way first. There will be spots left. But then I will start over doing it right. Because pretty often lack of experience leads to not sending it off completely. If you see these yellow spots, that is a bad job. The product wouldn't stick to it. It won't be that durable as it should be. So we send it down white without a single yellow spot. If the crew had arrived on the building site without this machine, they are not going to send the grooves. This is a very important instrument. You can't do without it. We will show you how to do it. With this square plate, it's very easy to get the grooves down. That's the most common and practical. There's lots of sandpaper on the market. You buy the roll, you cut it and stick it in, and it's a bargain. Ok, you have sanded the walls, you have sanded the flat surface, you have sanded the grooves, you also sanded the end phases. They should be as smooth as the wall. And only then you are getting ready for the paint job. The whole house should be sanded completely before the cleanup. You can start with the vacuum, but never forget that the compressor is a very important tool on a building site. It blows the dust from all the cavities, and it does it nice and easy. You blow everything out, and then you vacuum it again. And don't, then the wall is ready to get painted. 
and about technical details. Here is the video of us sending the rounded lock house, and we have mentioned the right way of sending around the switches and plugs there. Take a look at it again, just to remind you a technical detail. It's covered and the frame is off, it's sanded, then painted, then the frame is put on and the cover removed. That's an excellent job. It will never get dirty. That's how it should be. That's production culture. That's important. To choose the colors for your house correctly, in each room you should paint the samples on the real walls. They come with the different humidity and materials. That's the only way to see true color that you're gonna get. No painted samples on the market are to be used, only your particular walls, in a particular house. It gets dry, you observe it. You choose the color and you paint it having an exact color match. To do a good paint job of a glued beam house, you have to stick to a small plan. First of all, we get the interior sanded, so that the exterior won't get yellowish. When it's all prepared, sanded and cleaned up, we get to the exterior sanding. We start with the shady side, then we move to the sunny side. The painting is done the opposite way. Two sunny sides, then two shady sides. And only then we move to the interior paint job. Interior walls get yellowish much slower, because there is not that much of an ultraviolet light inside. That's a plan to get the job done. Now we're gonna show you some painted walls. Here is an example of the walls with the complete paint job done. It's absolutely necessary that we took off the radiators, sanded and painted behind it. That's how the walls look when the paint job is done correctly. So in the bath we have the walls painted. The bath is ready for the finishing, and we are moving on to it, gonna do the steam room, then the shower room, the ceilings as well. Subscribe to the channel, we are going to film a complete review of this house in particular, as well as all the other houses, from a glued beam, from the rounded logs, from a profiled beam. You're gonna see all that here on our channel during this season.